I'm Tammy of A Peach Life, and today I'm going to share with you what's in my bags. So I have my purse, which is sort of my everyday carry, and my messenger bag, which is right now what I'm using as my little planner tote. And my daily purse kind of switches out often, but my items inside are basically the same. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and clip it on here. Oh, let me show you. My bag, my little purse is um, from Mercedes Salazar and I got it in Puerto Rico, but you can find them on there, like .com. Here we go, I'm gonna clip that up. Hopefully that is not too, too, too much movement there. There, <clears throat> that way I can be hands-free. I'm gonna have a little sip of my water. Okay, so first off in my bag, I keep little headphones I can plug in so I don't have to worry about always charging them. This is from Loft, carries little girl time products, <coughs> like a little bit of my girl time products. This is from Galen Leather. I always keep this in my purse because it's Erin Condren scissors. And then a glue stick, a fountain pen, the Sarasa five click, and a friction clickable pin. Okay, along with some of my little Peach Life cards and some post-its if needed. So I always toss that in any purse that I'm using. I have a little medicine, which is like Benadryl and Allergy medicine and Advil's and Tylenol, a little mixture. And a cute little planner charm. Then I keep my doTERRA lotion, my little doTERRA wrap. So it's a must. You put that on your hands, it feels and looks super lovely. <clears throat> my sunglasses, which are kind of like a, a bluey, purple, violety color. They're like nice and big. They're like little movie star glasses. They're cute. My keys with Lotso and my little Apple tag or whatever they're called so that I can find my keys or my purse sometimes when I can't find those. We also have the two little kitties that I told you is ours now that are outside, but they were my neighbors. We just got them for them as well. So I can see where those guys are headed to. I got my little Kate Spade wallet, covered my some things on my ID. And then um, <clears throat> a little hair clip, because you never know. I like to pin my bangs back. And then I tend to always have like a bunch of little lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff. This is a little doTERRA peppermint, in case I have a little headache coming on. This is Tarte, and it's, um, I think it's like Salty Life or Salt Life or something. It's just, oh my God, so lovely. Throw some on while I'm talking to you guys. A little Too Faced chocolate. It's just like a little hint of warmth. And then I feel like I've worn this literally forever. Uh, Mac hug me okay love those and then I like to take sometimes with me like a little goodie of stationery and some stickers and some little stuff like I have when I'm out and about um, in case I want to add or do something or I have a little moment or time it's just sort of perfect and then, um, and then this is just kind of full of different stationaries. Well, they're kind of not coming apart there. And then, um, so it just kind of depends. I like this one to carry stationery and stickers and other little things. Let's see what's in this little guy. What did I put in here? Oh, more little stationary cuteness. 
and it's nice and thin and it fits in most my little bags and purses so it's kind of fun to have those different little things with me and then the little kita which are always like perfect on the go this one here is actually really great uh, paper clip a cute little paper clip this one it's got so many like cute little ones perfect or bookmark paper clip cute some little labels okay a little notebook post-its those little post-its clearly don't want to stick Okay, so I kind of always carry that. It's nice and thin, perfect. And then I have my everyday carry planner. I switch out my cover often. This is a pocket size uh, planner. And then I carry the Sarasa five click uh, pin. So I love to have all the different little colors with me, but in one pin and then stamps. And then the front, this is pocket size. This is, um, Traveler's Company, let's see, Traveler's Company uh, calendar, and then this is, uh, but it's passport size, and then this was my pocket size insert that I trimmed down to uh, passport size. I, I like pocket or passport size inserts in my pocket um, cover. And then this is my Hobonichi Techo uh, A6 size that I trimmed down. And it was trimmed down to pocket size, and now it's a little bit more passport size. And I really love it smaller because I found I wasn't taking it on the go with me when it was larger. And I like that it fits in my uh, booklet with everything else. I have some just like a little bit of pre-decorated ahead pages and then pass just so you kind of have a idea of how I'm using it and I have a little bindery cutting machine so I was able to I recently got that so not long ago so I was able to put that in there and I just trimmed off the side a bit and it left like the writing all at the bottom. And then recently I thought I really don't need that writing off the bottom. So I put it back into my little bindery cutting machine and I cut the bottom right off. And I feel like it's just like a really nice size, yet I have space for what I need to write down. It's just kind of carries my daily, um, sort of to-do list and appointments and things like that. Uh, and it's perfect for on the go. Some more little stickers inside here. Midori ones, these are little post-its. I've shared those before. This is um, Traveler's Company pocket size. Um, I think it's actually passport size. And to put things in so there's that that's my everyday carry planner my cover is from chic sparrow um, the pin part I believe they're back to this pin part somebody had bought one and their pin part wasn't the same of mine it was like when they were doing this transition so uh, I got the wrong ones as well, so kind of keep an eye out on which pin thing. This is the pin thing I like, and I believe they're back to that. Um, so don't be upset with me if you get the wrong pin part, which someone was. Um, I was upset myself when I didn't get the one I liked. So these ones, I love. The ones that slip in and out, not as much. Okay, so there, and then this just has like my purchase tracker, sort of perfect, but this is probably like the very best thing I could have done was trimming down my A6 size Hobonichi. And then 
we'll take a look at what I'm carrying today in my planner tote bag, which that, that always changes what's in my um, planner bag, depending on what um, I'm sort of creating or working on at the time. So let's go ahead and take a quick look in here. In the front, it looks like I have some stickers, a lot of like tea and cuteness here. And then I have this, which I'm still decorating. Um, I'll do that maybe with you guys in an upcoming video and show you how I kind of decorate and seal and cover them. And then this has like a lot of my um, travel stickers and things like that. And things that I'm, all that kind of stuff that I'm kind of working on. So cute. Okay, so that's all in there. And I want to seal that like with a, a clear cover once I get my stickers on. So when I have this filed in my drawer, which I'll show that in an upcoming video too, how I have all these like little vintage style airmail envelopes organized in my drawer. So as I flip, I kind of know by what's on the front cover, what's gonna be inside. I also have these um, envelopes on my A Peach Life Etsy shop and some of the stickers that I shared that are in here in my uh, tea-like ones. And then this, which is just like little sticker sheets from different shops, my little favorite uh, Sweet Avis paper. Those are kind of like go-tos. Another one of these little organizers that I just have miscellaneous stickers and goodies and things like that in here. So this is perfect, kind of like a little grab and go. Another sticker from Sweet Ava's shop. These are from my A Peach Life ones. All of these are in my shop right now. I know it will vary from time to time. I kind of just tossed a lot of stuff in my bag today, seeing what I may or may not be using. And then this size little um, Happy Planner style, like disc style, is in my A Peach Life Etsy shop. This one I cut down and added um, like sticker release paper but um, the ones in my shop just come with like a uh, cute, colorful cardstock, and um, or you could just get the covers separately and make your own. And I have several different sizes, so they're so cute. And I believe when those guys are gone, they're gone. I don't think I'm going to be making more of those. And we're still just in the front little pocket here. Stickers. I've showed these recently and a video of some new stuff. So I took those with me. I love this because it pops apart and I can kind of thumb through like my little labels. So that's really cute. Okay, so that is everything in the front little zip pouch. And then in the back here, I have an Erin Condren Hello Kitty little pin pouch and that holds my little um, mild liner brush. I love the brush tip is my very favorite. And then I have like a little vintagey coach zip purse that I added a little Disney patch to and it holds my Canon Ivy printer along with like additional little photo papers. And then I have in here my Hobonichi, the cousin size, which is my creative journal. And I just have some different little stationery in here and some stickers and things to carry along and little stuff like that I'm working on. 
So I have lots of little new things in here to share with you guys. This is like a favorite new little page. And I got my new little segue, so that little info's in here. But I love having this to kind of just create, draw, sketch, uh, art journal, regular journal, <laughs> collage, you name it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And then, did I share this? These are like the little Midori. These were also in my planner. It comes like a full sheet. Sorry, but the sheet is the exact same on the top and bottom, so I trim them so that I have some in my planner and some on the go. And then, last but not least, I have this organizer. There's also another uh, large zip pouch spot in there. But I have this organizer and it has like a front and a back spot there and the front like a divider and it looks like I have a little tape runner down there some little stickers that I got in New York really cute at one of the cute bookstores a little goodie bag of stationary and cuteness. This was from a really cute swap. Um, me and Amy, one of the girls in my Peach Life group did. And this was like all the little goodness, mostly like Sanrio. So cute. So my Peach Life group is open. I know I talked about closing it and had closed it, but it just from people asking and the convenience of it, I went ahead and had opened it and utilizing it again, and it's just gonna stay open no matter what. It's there, so we'd love to have you. I share on my Instagram a lot, a little bit on my Facebook, and um, definitely in my Peach Life group. Is that so cute? So just some little goodies and stationary so I kind of try and pull apart a little of this and that that I have so that on the go depending what I may need I got a little of this and that with me so cute aren't those guys so cute and grapefruit I just love it some washies in there um, just adorable. A little bag. I love to separate all my little stuff a bit and kind of have different little sort of goodie bags of different things. I feel like it helps me to be more creative, uh, not putting the exact same things together in all my little bags of stuff. So that way it kind of just Forces, I guess is a rough word, but to kind of put everything, like utilize what I have with me. Granted, this is a lot of stuff I have with me, but the bag is really not that big or that thick. Um, so it's sort of perfect in here. And I have more than enough to keep me going uh, for a long, really long time. And I wouldn't really, I would probably just take this with me for quite some time to different events. I may even just like drop that in there. And my little adventure one in there, which is just really perfect. Drop that down into my messenger bag and I'll toss these guys right here in the front. Perfect. And then, oh, more of these goodies here, which has this nice little pocket. Slide them in there. Same with this, just in here. And then, let's see, toss that in here. 
this. So that's just kind of what I am carrying now. Um, my everyday carry is sort of my main thing I'm using. It's my catch-all, whatever I need to kind of put in. I don't really like seeing brain dump. I don't feel like it's a real positive in any way. It's a catch-all. All your little creative ideas and inspiration and to do things. And I try to remember even the things like I don't want to do, cleaning the house and as I'm doing it, I'm so, I just say, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I have my little lovely home to clean and I'm thankful for whatever it may be. So I really try to work that idea. Even when like doing the dishes and things that are not my favorite, I try to remember just to be grateful that I have those dishes. I have this home to clean and things like that and to appreciate. So, okay, I'm not sure how I got off on that little tangent of clay. Oh, catch all, cause that's my catch all and it has all my little, whatever I need, I just kind of drop those thoughts into there. Okay, that is my Pan Am bag. I got this quite a few years back in Key Largo, I believe it is. The keys at one of the cute shops down there. Sometimes you can find them by Googling. Um, they're like a little remake of the vintage uh, Pan Am bags and they have other styles and white and light blue and this and I have probably like a handful of the different ones. They're definitely uh, my favorites of uh, special and they wear really well. There's also um, back here a pocket and if you're traveling you can zip that so that it connects onto your luggage. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed a little look inside my little planner, messenger tote bag, and my purse and the little items that I carry with me all the time. Thanks so much for joining me. And again, if you have any questions, always link them below. If you like this video, I'd love a little like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd really love that if you subscribe and join me here on A Peach Life. Thanks so much.